Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're gonna to be going over the differences between the Lyric system, the L7000, and the L5210. Uh, all three of these are Honeywell products. I'm gonna be going over basically just each feature of the system, uh, how they differ, how they're the same, and then near the end I'll just mention you know our recommendation, uh, and then go from there. So, uh, the system right here is the Lyric control system. This is Honeywell's newest touchscreen system. Uh, this is coming after the L7000, also touchscreen as well, and the final one, the 5210 touchscreen as well. You can notice that the touchscreen on this one is much smaller, uh, opposed to the first two. So, the compatible sensors for these systems. For the Lyric, it can work with the six series sensors, which are the uh, encrypted sensors specifically made for the Lyric. It could also work with the 5800 sensors. Uh, the 5800 sensors are Honeywell sensors, just like the 7000 and the 5210, all compatible with the 5800 sensors. So the screen sizes for the Lyric and the L7000, they both have about a seven inch screen. For the 5210, the screen is about 4.3 inches uh, and they are all three LCD screens. As you can notice, I do have the uh, backlight off on the Lyric so it might go black. There are features like that on these other two. I just have it enabled for this one right now. You can see aesthetically the Lyric is a lot cleaner um, opposed to the other two. The other two are so good systems, but if you want something a little bit more modern looking, uh, a little bit easier on the eyes, the Lyric is the one we usually recommend specifically for that reason. Uh, interactive services that you can use with all three of these panels is Total Connect. Uh, Total Connect is the Honeywell remote service. Essentially, it's the application where you can control these systems from your smartphone, iPad, tablet, computer, anything like that. Uh, basically, arm and disarm remotely, get live notifications, but pretty much all Honeywell panels usually go with Total Connect as the remote application. So Wi-Fi connectivity. The Lyric is actually the only of the three that has Wi-Fi connectivity built in. Meaning right when you open this, right when you set it up, you can connect it to your network. You don't need to get anything extra or install anything extra. The 7000 and the 5210, you do need to get the L5100 Wi-Fi module and install it into the boards for these to connect to Wi-Fi. You will connect the panels to Wi-Fi to basically send out signal to an alarm company, to a central station, or to your Total Connect application. For cell connectivity, also same idea, it's used for sending out signal to applications, central stations, anything like that. Uh, none of these has cell built in, so you would have to get a cell module for each individual one. The Lyric is a little bit different as its cell module pops into the side of the panel, while the 7000 and the 5210, they use similar cell connectors, but you have to open up the board and actually install it into the board itself, screw it into place, and then close up the board afterwards. Uh, for Z-Wave, so the Lyric is the only of the two that has Z-Wave capability built in. So this means just like the Wi-Fi, basically once you get this set up and powered on, you can start connecting Z-Wave devices. Uh, for the 7000 and the 5210, you can do the same thing. However, you need the Z-Wave module chip, just like the Wi-Fi chip, basically just open the board, pop it in, close the board, then you have Z-Wave capability. So Lyric built in, the links not built in, you have to get the module. For encrypted sensors, the Lyric is the only of the three that have encrypted sensors. Those were those six series sensors I mentioned before. Uh, they are a little bit stronger range than the 5800's functionality. They're similar, uh, except main difference is obviously they are encrypted opposed to the 5800 series, which are not encrypted. And as a reminder, you can still use 5800 series sensors with the Lyric, even though they're not encrypted, it still works. So the siren that is built into each of these panels is the same, it's about 85 decibels. Not much to mention there. So out of all three of the panels, the Lyric is the only one with a camera. You can see it right here on top. It is a whopping two megapixels. Uh, for the Lyric camera, basically it takes snapshots when you disarm the system. You can turn this feature off if you don't want it. Uh, there is a downside to the camera though, how it's not really the best camera, so you will need good lighting. Uh, we've seen plenty of customers contact us thinking their Lyric camera is bad. However, it's just the lighting in the background is not bright enough, so the image comes out looking black. It's just very, very dark. You just need good lighting and you got a good image. Uh, let's see. The amount of user codes that these systems can hold. The Lyric and the 7000 both can hold up to 48 total user codes. The 5210 can hold up to 32. So, you know, 
good difference. Uh, obviously, the newer systems can hold more codes. We do get you know commercial uh, customers coming in asking you know how many codes can I have for my employees? The answer: 48 or 32. So all three of these use a 2.7 amp, 9 volt, uh, basically transformer for power. Pretty consistent, you just wanna keep it powered on all the time. It does have a backup battery in each one. Uh, the default one for all three is about four hours. So meaning if the AC power is cut, all three of these panels can basically be powered on for about four hours afterwards before their batteries die. Uh, there are advanced batteries that can hold a charge up to 24 hours. Uh, those aren't the, the the primary ones because it's kind of rare to have power outages last for more than four hours to begin with. But you can always update the battery. <clears throat> so all three of these are wireless panels. Uh, the amount of wireless zones they can handle. The Lyric comes in first at 128 wireless zones, plus you can do 32 key fobs. The L7000 can hold up to 80 wireless zones and you can do 24 key fobs. And the L5210 can do 64 wireless zones and you can do 16 key fobs. So obviously the Lyric, if you want to be doing a lot more zones, the Lyric's the one you want to go with. And then for the hardwired zones, all three of these do have a hardwired zone. The Lyric has two, these two have one. That's mainly going to be used for normally open, uh, I'm sorry, normally closed contacts such as doors, windows, anything like that. Uh, pretty basic, not really many people use the hardwired setup from what I've seen. Uh, mainly it's just wireless, but you do have the option if you want to. Uh, if you did want to learn more about the systems, we do have each individual system on our site. We also have an FAQ going over this in more detail. Uh, it's alarmgrid.com. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we release more content, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified right away. Thank you very much and have a great day.